Hello again, everyone. I'm Jeremy Jones, and welcome to another edition of The Coach's Corner. What we're going to be going over today is basically your physical process. And what I mean by that is what we do prior to the actual motion of the swing, the start of the backswing into the downswing. So this, to me, is, is a huge process, uh, a very important process. Um, teaching so much the last eight years, I've seen, and I've always believed this, that what you do prior to the start of the backswing has a very direct effect on the outcome of the stroke itself. It's kind of just setting you up for success, we might say. So in a previous lesson, we've learned to aim with our stance. So, and we've learned in a future lesson, we'll learn about the mental process and, and also preparing for the shot. So I've made my decision, let's say, now this is the nine ball, but say we had to play position on some balls. I've made my decision. And the last thing we do uh, before the, the mental process kind of ends is we come look at the object ball to the hole. Now that is the start of the physical process. Um, we get, I'm not one that really keys on the contact point. I'm one that really wants to simply see how I want the ball to travel. Again, back to that mild information. Uh, you don't want to overload the brain. But let's get into the physical process. So once I've looked at the ball to the hole, of course, I get into my aiming with my stance, which we've gone over. But I want to skip ahead to what happens when we're actually down on the ball. And that, to me, again, is such an important thing. We, we're going to go over pre-strokes, uh, both bigger ones and the micro pre-strokes. And then we're going to go into the pause of the cue ball. Um, and then from there, we'll get into another episode about the stroke itself. But I want to stress how important these, these little tidbits are. So again, I'm in position. I've looked at the ball to the hole. I'm going to aim. Now I get down on the ball. Now what you'll find by most of the pros or your, your top or better players in your area is when we're down on the ball, of course, we're in a good position. But we take a couple of pre-strokes. We don't take a lot as a whole. We usually take one or two. We don't want to sit down and, and kind of like think long, think wrong kind of process. And mainly with the pre-strokes, what we want to feel is basically our backswing. So we do a couple of these, right? And then you'll see the pros, they'll kind of do these micro ones, which really gets into the start of the backswing. And also what the micro, um, kind of pre-strokes do, is they're kind of a bridge from the bigger pre-strokes into the pause at the cue ball. Now let's talk about the pause at the cue ball for a little bit. There's two pauses in the swing. The one is at the cue ball, and then you'll see a lot of players pause in the back of the, the back swing. So we'll get to that a little later in another episode, but as far as the pause at the cue ball, it is something that is in pretty much every sport some form or fashion. If you have ever played golf, we waggle, and then we never go right into the swing from the waggle. We always come set with the golf club. If you've ever watched basketball, they kind of dribble and then they bounce the shoulder here. That's their pause, right? Baseball, the pitcher comes up, he has a little still moment before he gets things started. So there's always a little calm moment before the storm or the swing or the actual movement we have in each sport. So the pause in the back, I see probably two out of 10 pros have the pause in the back. And again, we'll talk about why that happens later in another episode. But the pause at the front, I can't say 100% of pros have it, but it's a big, big number. It's uh, probably 90 to 95%. And it's something I think when it's skipped, I see a lot of bad things happen, even from players that normally pause at the cue ball. So again, our process, our physical process is aiming, of course. We get down on the ball, we make a couple pre-strokes. I'm more of the two guy, and then these little ones to the pause. And what happens is you're setting up for a calm backswing. That's basically what we're trying to get at. Again, if you've ever watched someone golf, they don't waggle real fast. Uh, I always relate it to the guy at the free throw line. When he sets his feet, you don't see him dribble like that. We're trying to relax ourselves calm ourselves down for a big moment of the stroke. So again, the physical process to me is very, very important. Um, 
one that I always, again, bring up that's a kind of proof in the pudding. On a bet, I think if Steph Curry stood at the free throw line and I just fed him the ball, he could probably make two or three free, free throws in a row, two or three hundred free throws in a row. But still, when it's game time, he goes through his process and he trusts his process. And again, we're always trying to build things we can rely on. So again, build your process. That will really help the stroke, uh, especially when pressure situations uh, are, are coming about. And uh, you know, find your game, find your stroke. And again, pre-strokes to the pause, to the backswing.